Afternoon, everyone. Afternoon. Afternoon, Justin. Afternoon, Elizabeth. Hello. Hello, crowd. So there is Elizabeth Briggs, who's a category manager for sliding, room and building, light and acoustics. We have Justin Crofts, category manager for furniture construction, and myself, Natalie Davenport, who's head of marketing, leading you through this discussion on the future of living spaces. We're going to cover off trends across living spaces going back to the 1930s. We're then going to take you through some case studies, some projects using spaces to get as much life per square metre as possible out of your space. Then we're going to go through a selection of products to help spark some initial ideas and help you get the most value from your spaces. So let's start. With experts predicting a huge rise in multi-generational living, architects, property developers and designers have a major task on their hands to reflect these new lifestyle trends. With the housing stock crisis in the UK, it's proving more and more difficult for the next generation to get on the housing ladder. House prices and the cost of living, including care home costs, are ever increasing. Plus, according to the ONS, there are currently almost 12 million people aged over 65 in the UK, and it's expected to reach nearly 18 and a half million by 2040. It's due to ageing populations and better living standards, including healthcare. So it's becoming more and more common for multiple generations to live together under one roof, as at either end of the chain, there's a bit of a sticking point. Whilst we're seeing a rise in multi-generational living, properties are certainly not reflecting the requirement to increase space. In fact, let's take a look at the following visuals showing exactly what has happened to the size of our living spaces over the last few decades. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to point out that these average figures, courtesy of LABC, are based on a living room, a master bedroom, another bedroom and a kitchen space. So in the 1930s, this average space totaled just short of 47 metres square. Living spaces increased from the 1930s through to the 1950s, but then the average living space in a home had increased from just under 47 metres square to just under 54 metres square, an increase of nearly 15%, a whopping 11% up on the previous decade. As the population's affluence grew over those two decades, the luxury of space in the master bedroom, living room and kitchens areas in particular followed. Over the next two decades, planning departments and house builders focused on giving residents a higher quality of life, including being able to entertain at home. So the average size of a kitchen peaked in the 1960s at over 15 metres square but shrank very slightly in the 1970s to what you see here. Overall, the average living space in our lifetimes was largest in the 1970s, peaking at over 58 metres square, up nearly 10% on the 50s and 24% on the 1930s. For the first big drop in the 1980s to 53 and a half metres square an 8.5% reduction on the previous decade. All areas reduced in size except the master bedroom. The size of UK homes has been spiralling downwards since the 1980s. 20 years on and the 2000s showed a reduction in living space of over 6.5% to just over 50 metres square. Further reduction of 7% on the previous decade to just short of 47 metres square saw the second biggest drop in overall living space following three decades of size reduction. The reduction in space affected every room bar the kitchen, which remained roughly static, although this room has been reducing in size since the 60s when it was just under 15% larger, as I said. This means houses built in the last decade 
have as much space as houses built now in the 1930s. And during this decade, new homes were declared the smallest in Western Europe. So what effect does this have on people living in these spaces? Well, it means homes have to be much more organised, particularly in our consumerist society. Recently, the focus has shifted from just the number of rooms or actual property size to the effects modern living can have on people's psychological well-being, particularly as they struggle to fit their lives into the homes they live in. For example, according to the study by Saxby and Rapetti, women who described their living spaces as cluttered were more likely to be fatigued and depressed. Researchers also found that women with messy or cluttered homes had higher levels of cortisol, meaning clutter and mess directly contributed to stress and anxiety. Meanwhile, researchers at Princeton University discovered that clutter can make it difficult to focus on particular tasks. Effectively, a person's visual cortex becomes just overwhelmed by objects not related to that particular task, meaning output and efficiency is reduced. Clutter correlates to the limits in your brain's ability to process information. In fact, further research has concluded that people are less irritable, less distracted, more productive and better able to process information in a tidy and well-organised work area. So reducing clutter allows homeowners to take control of their environment, enabling them to focus more easily on tasks in hand. With more and more people working from home, productivity and efficiency will be monetized by business. This means there is pressure coming for designers and house builders to deliver on environments that allow people to work and focus properly. So how can you be ahead of the curve and deliver on space enhancing environments? Well, with a continued focus on open plan, flexible living is the new buzzword. But this doesn't just mean kitchen, dining, living spaces anymore. It means delivering multi-purpose functionality, which has only been accelerated by remote working. Let's look at the kitchen. These rooms are now much more than simply a place to cook. Giving the feeling of space, larger open plan rooms are very popular. But these spaces need to serve multiple purposes from eating to socialising, working to exercising. This trend has only accelerated recently with remote working from home and schooling expected to last into the future. Many people find that the spaces they're now calling their primary office are located in kitchens, under the stairs, the master bedroom due to its larger space or even a spare room. Returning to the commentary on spaces affecting our well-being, however, then an increased focus on usages of the space is increasingly necessary. Designers will have to rely more on suppliers who can contribute to ideas to maximise the use of these spaces. And fixtures and fittings are critical in delivering on these value creating, space enhancing ideas. Being able to close off a workspace at the end of the day allows people to separate their home lives from their work lives and truly switch off. We understand this is a key driver in renovations by homeowners or when people are looking to move. So the conversation about flexible spaces has just moved up a gear. As a result of these evolving living arrangements and lifestyle changes, Flexible living combined with space saving fixtures, fittings and appliances that give more life per square metre are crucial as homeowners strive for flexible rooms that are adaptable to suit different ages and different activities. When spaces are to premium, clever storage can transform the function and look of any room. There are now so many innovative space saving solutions available that are designed to make the most out of every available square meter whilst meeting the needs of modern households and without compromising on style that designers can't be expected anymore to know about everything that there is available on the market. 
Working closely with a trusted supplier is key to deliver an environment that adds value by reducing clutter and removing stress from the surroundings, making the homeowner much happier and more productive too. So what are some key questions that could help on this new journey? Well, here we're going to talk you through a few case studies and highlight some products to help kickstart some of those ideas. So let's just kick off. How can a space become flexible and therefore more usable? Justin, can you help with this? Uh, yes, thank you, Natalie. So I'm going to take you through three different types of finished projects, showing you how space has been used effectively and efficiently, all as part of the motto, more life per meter squared. The first project called Micro Apartment 20 slash 30 is an innovative solution for the social and architectural challenges of our time. Micro apartments are a reaction of the real estate business to single person households and urbanization. However, anyone who thinks that this means forgoing or lacking anything is mistaken. The less is more concept is transferred to the living area, reflecting the trend towards reduction in society in general. Small apartments cost less to build, consume less energy and are easier to maintain. True to the motto, more life per metre squared. In collaboration with architect Micro Apartment 2030 was created a modular, scalable micro apartment. It provides a wide range of solutions for any budget and can be implemented in both new and existing buildings. Based on a grid zone system, any apartment size, equipment level and duration of residence can be individually scaled. The suffix 20 slash 30 refers directly to this scalability, which can be between 20 and 30 square metres, depending on requirement. Hayfley Architectural Hardware provides multifunctional solutions. As a whole, the concept allows for maximum prefabrication, optimum construction time, and highest quality in variety of price, application and design options. Some of the products that are included in this application is our Hayfley Darlock Electronics Access Control System, Lux Lighting System, Slido Sliding Door Gear System, StarTech Architectural Hardware and different furniture function solutions, all from a single source of Hayfley. The second project is called the A. Boyd Tiny House. Hayfley supplied clever hardware fittings for the A. Boyd Tiny House, a mobile nine square meter miniature house by 27 year old Italian architect Leonardo de Chiara, including the free flap fittings and the Lux lighting system. The sophisticated equipment also allows comfortable living in the smallest of space. The Avoid is probably the smallest movable house ever built in Italy. The interior is defined by a single grey room running through the house lengthwise and was developed without any furnishings. The name of the house is a play on words. On this empty space, void, at the same time, of course, Avoid means to stay away or do without. The room is outfitted with devices concealed in the walls which fill and change the room depending on how it's used. Open, unfolded or pulled out with the warm wood look, they convey a homely character. You can enter the room through two French doors on one of the narrow sides. At the opposite end, a narrow bed can be folded down from the wall. Two flat roller stools hiding next to it in the wall can dock onto the bed, doubling the sleeping area. The narrow bed can also serve as a sofa offering seating for up to three people. Cooking is done in the fully functional kitchen, concealed in the functional wall in the centre of the house. The shower and toilet are located behind the wall in the entrance area. Some of the products included in this application, again, are Lux lighting, fold away bed fittings, pivot hinges, sliding folding doors, free flap fittings, matrix box drawer systems, magnetic catches, metalla concealed hinges and IX Connect shelf supports. The third project 
which is the Hayfully functionality cube, which was first shown in 2012 in uh, Nargold in Germany, where Hayfully presented their exhibit to visitors in a cube by designer Werner Aislinger. For the first time, the 39 square meter building was realized floating and true to the motto, a room for everything, everything in one room. It was finished by Hayfully under the company's own initiative to create a complete living environment. The functionality cube has been standing as a showroom in front of the branch of the office of Hayfully Switzerland since 2015. Cook, eat, work and sleep in 39 square metres. Hayfully used fun furniture specially designed for the living cube to realise an open living space that combines cooking, eating, working and sleeping in a creatively elegant yet functional design. A complete kitchen unit, including built in appliances and wet area, is concealed in the cabinet combination behind sliding folding doors. When the doors are open, they disappear completely into the furniture cabinetry. The parallel placed freestanding kitchen island in turn can be folded out to create a dining table for four. Together with the closed kitchen cabinetry and four stackable chairs, the room is quickly transformed into a dining room. Right across the kitchen area is the living area. A large flat screen TV emerges from a waist high sideboard when desired. After use, the device simply disappears into the furniture. It can even be operated via a smartphone. The room is dominated by a floor to ceiling wardrobe and shelf wall that combines the functions of working and sleeping. The tabletto fitting developed by Hayfully transforms a bed into a desk with simple movements. With a functionality cube, Hayfully demonstrates how a limited space can use intelligent and flexible furniture solutions to meet all residential needs without sacrificing space. Some of the products included into this application were StarTech lever handles, hinges and locks, electric lift up fittings, Lux lighting, Slido wooden pivot door systems, matrix box P, cutlery drawers and inserts, metalla concealed hinges and IX Connect shelf supports. In addition, there is also available from the ranges that we offer storage drawers for um, either for steps, for heaters and hoovers, which are positioned in the plinth space underneath kitchens. Pull out drawers or full height units to gain access to the back of cupboards. Pull down baskets for wall cupboards. Ironing boards in a drawer. Tables that pull out of a drawer or a unit. Folding coat hooks. Units that turn from a storage cupboard to a table and chairs. Fold down beds that can turn into a desk. Wall folding brackets to create a temporary workspace sliding worktops to reveal sinks with fold down taps, pop up power modules for plugging in appliances or charging. So we've mentioned a lot of products above and there are many more products that we can recommend in the design of your space to create more life per meter squared. Though certainly one of the best ways to create space is with Slido sliding door gear and to create different areas is to use Lux lighting, which Elizabeth is going to take you through right now. Thanks, Justin. So, so if we've seen a reduction in living spaces across every room, yet more people are living under one roof and we are a consumer driven society with lots of items. What are the three top things a designer can do to help create storage and declutter a space, Elizabeth? Can you help us? Yes, of course. And um, I'll take you through that and um, really interesting products, uh, product projects and stats guys. And I think it just shows that hopefully are really engaged in this concept and bringing ideas and products to the market. The past 12 months have been life changing. The way we live our day to day was turned on its head and things we took for granted were removed from under our feet almost every night. As a result, our lives and internal homes are likely have to have changed forever. By this change and the want for need to use our spaces differently and more efficiently will be more than ever required. Although COVID-19 restrictions are starting to ease, 
77% of the UK employees say a mix of office based and re remote working is the best way forward. Likewise, we surveyed 2000 consumers who told us that they expect to spend over half of their week working from home in 2021. This means in the coming months we can expect a massive surge in builders looking for home office products and solutions that allows them to create, as Natalie said, this buzzword, more flexible spaces. To help support these requirements, let's explore some of the current trends and clever solutions for our new way of living and working. Using sliding door or pocket doors is a creative and functional added value on and in buildings and on furniture. Homeowners can partition off an open plan kitchen or dining area, for example, or make it an office space and that can be hidden away after 5.30. Sliding and pocket door systems have also the added space saving bonus as they only take up around 1200 mil less operating space per door versus the traditional hung door. One of the products that I'm going to take you through now and is on screen is the Howard Conceptor Pivot Sliding System. This clever solution hides away within a wall recess and doesn't need a floor channel. Again, so you'll have no restrictions, making it a perfect concealed option, as well as being a great solution for the homeowner and looking very aesthetically pleasing. It's also designed for ease of fitting and all the adjustments can be carried out from the front. And thanks to its unique scissor technology, it's very versatile too. The system can carry up to 2.6 metre in height and it has a maximum door of 50 kilos. This allows to create a substantial hidden office space or to conceal any storage spaces. Also, it has the added function of soft, of soft close. Some other clever systems that allow flexible spaces are the Accuride 0115 sliding track system. This ball bearing mounted carriage system has a huge 130 kilo weight load. This means that it can be used to create extendable pool tabletop workspaces that slide away when not needed. Likewise, we have the tabletop swivel fitting sets. This can also be used to allow one piece of furniture to have various functions, for example, a dressing table, an L shaped workstation or a dining table. Extending worktops for your kitchen is another great cost effective way of creating space to work or to entertain. And again, pocket doors are a massive, massive upward trend product. Creating smart spaces is key to maximising the efficiency of your home. And at Natalie, as Natalie said, less um, clutter reduces stress and anxiety levels. Hayfully, we pretty much have every solution for every KBB requirement. As part of our research also, we asked the consumers to describe their perfect home office in more detail. In their responses, home workers chose good lighting as their top requirements, with 89% of home workers rating it as a crucial design factor, technology also ranked as a key consideration, with working from home choosing charging points for phones, power sockets and ways to hide cable and wires as important factors in their dream home office. Our market leading range of innovative Lux LED lighting offers design and solutions for all applications and brings designs to life. From spotlights to LED ribbons, down lights to up lights, solutions for behind doors and inside drawers, the Lux range has a huge selection to choose from, all designed by experts specifically with kitchen furniture in mind. With plug and play technology at the heart of the range, this comprehensive and flexible system could not be easier to connect. It is simple and quick to fit with the addition of the Bluetooth mesh app control and it delivers maximum impact to your customer. Our fully backed seven year guarantee gives you complete peace of mind and for the additional support we have our free lighting design service. This removes the time spent specifying, designing and pricing your lighting and our Hayfleet to order cut, pack and assemble service saves you time and money on site. It really is the whole lighting package. Thanks, Elizabeth. That's great. So on to our final question of today. How can suppliers help designers lighten their workload and deliver these ideas for no extra work? Well, over the last few months, Hayfleet have had more focus on helping support customers, and I'm sure other suppliers have done exactly the same. 
And we focused on whether it's reducing costs or supporting when there's a lack of resource, any services that could help. We've grouped some of our existing services and also created some new ones under the Hayfley Here to Help banner. And you can find out more on our website, of course, but just to highlight a couple. We've developed specification services because we're aware that actually the expertise and the time that takes to specify lighting, for example, or sliding door gear requires not only some expertise, but also quite a large amount of time. If you then add on something called Hayfully to order service, which is a, a cut, assemble, test in the case of lighting, pack and ship to either you or your customer, then cost savings and time savings can also be realised. But if you only take away one thing from this presentation, then let it be this. The focus has shifted quickly to flexible spaces performing multiple tasks at various points in the day to help homeowners maintain and improve a relaxed quality of living and also maintain or increase productivity for businesses who allow their employees to work from home. Use your suppliers, particularly those with a, a specialist knowledge in furniture who can see the whole market landscape and know exactly how to add value to those spaces. They have the ideas and can share these with you totally free of charge. It just needs a discussion. So for more information, and if you'd like to start that discussion, then please drop us an email or phone and contact us um, using the details that can be found at hayfully.co.uk and it's on the bottom of every single page. Any questions, just please ask. Thanks very much to Justin and Elizabeth, and I hope you found this presentation really interesting. Thank you.